Hey you guys. So I got a package and I'm so excited because we are gonna test it out together. It is a collapsible foot soaker, but you can also like use it for other things. Like, I mean, if you like going fishing or, you know, you can take it traveling. So, I mean, you can do it for a lot of other things. It's supposed to definitely be like multi-purpose, which I like because it just makes it more better if like it's you know you can travel with it but also the aspect of I like that it's like multi-purpose so you can use it for other things besides just using it for your feet like as a foot soaker so because you can even use it I think for laundry and like other things like that like it had like a million different things that you could do with it so this is the one I brought and we are going to test it out I chose the blue color, but it did come in other colors. I want to test this out together and we're going to see how it goes. I am going to even put some like, wow, this is like, I got to say, it's pretty like decent size. It, it's, yeah, it's very decent size. I've been like unsure about like getting something like this, but then um, I did someone I know um, actually like had one and they love it and like sit in their little like camper chair and everything. So I was like for the exact same reason like to soak their feet. And so I was like, well, that makes me feel a lot better about like testing one out. But yeah, you can fold the bucket and like, I so my idea is that I will put like a towel down and stick my feet in this with some like salt and hot water and we will see how it goes. I am going to put a towel down because I have a rug and I don't want to like end up wishing <laughs> that I had put a towel down. Um so I am going to do that as a like just in case because I've never tried this before. So I do like that it has handles for if you wanted to carry the water somewhere and I will probably be using that because obviously this is not where my bathroom is. <laughs> so I was thinking this would be a very like fun I've also been really wanting to paint my toenails and my nails, so I think it'll be a great time for us to test out this nail polish that I got that is vegan. Alright, I am back and I went ahead and got like my nail polish remover and my Be Kind um, little scrubber and the nail polish that I'm using. and. It is this very pretty red color. And I'm gonna like sit in this for about like maybe like 20 minutes or so and just enjoy this and maybe watch some YouTube or watch a movie. And I will see you guys when I am finished. So already I either think that this shouldn't spill I shouldn't have spilled it up as much as I did or either I think it needs to just be shorter than that it's supposed to hold like 20 liters I did end up spilling some water Thankfully the towel is there and I have got like, I had to like pause and like fix what I could, but yeah. So 
I have it in my shower. I was going to try to have it on the floor in the bathroom, but I just don't think that's going to work. So this is a little disappointed so far because I feel like if I really wanted to do it like this, I could simply just use, fill my bathtub up. So, I don't know. So far, a little disappointed, was like super like hyped at first and then now really disappointed. I am back and I'm definitely gonna need to clean the bucket. I will say that so far, like if I had to pick like a favorite thing I like about it, it is that you're using less water than you would if you used a tub. So I think that like would be my favorite thing. Um, but I don't, I'm just definitely like, I would definitely try to put less water in it if I wanted to put it like out while I was watching a movie. This is the nail polish I'm going to use. I do, amazingly, I still have some nail polish on me um, from like forever ago. I don't even like remember when I got it done. So we are going to take that off and do this. And I will see you guys in a little bit. The nail polish was $14, which probably seems like incredibly expensive, but I loved that it was vegan and it was also from a small business here in town. They have other colors. They have like a silver glittery color, a green and like a purple pastel color. I, if I like it, I would love to get other colors at some point, but most people who know me know I don't paint my nails all the time. I mainly don't do it because I was working with kids and but now I'm kind of just like, let's have more fun. <laughs> All right, we have put the nails. I am weird. I actually still have one from when I was a kid. And yes, it's a frog, but you know what? I love frogs. That is like a weird fact about me, but like, Literally, most of my friends or people watching this who know me know that about me. So, I am working on painting my nails now. And I thought that I would just come on here and maybe talk, too. So, I actually am really excited. I, like, have some avocados to use up and also have um I have some avocados to use up and I have like <laughs> when I went to the grocery store I brought two bags of Brussels sprouts because they were on sale and so I'm really excited because I like I wanted I got this weird craving for guacamole and so I am really excited because I decided that I actually would really like to there's this place in where I'm from called Wong's Tacos and they do like a Brussels sprout taco and I really want to like I got the craziest idea to recreate it and like I'll make the sauces vegan because most of the time when I go there, I have to get all the sauce, like either get the sauces off or the cheese off. I don't think I'm going to put cheese on mine, but it's just because I'm just kind of feeling like I'm good without it. Um, but like, I feel so proud of that idea, like, because I don't know like how I can up with that. But I was like, well, like, how am I going to use these Brussels sprouts if I decide to do guac? And then like, you know, but then I like came up with that idea and I was like, man, I'm feeling like proud of myself for that. So, but it is like, I've been, it has been super cold, like outside. I have been exercising, um, at least like two or three days a week running 
and walking outside um, because I'm trying to work back up to running again. And so obviously I'm not like, I'm just doing like, you know, so far I'm kind of mostly just switching on and off and it is cold because I'm going at like 9, 10 o'clock and it is freezing. <laughs> I just want to get it over with. I don't like to go in the afternoon. And so, and I like running on the trail that is near my apartment. It is just so nice. And it just also like, I love being out in nature. So that has been kind of fun, but my gosh. This thing keeps like dripping. Uh, I am not good at painting my nails or my toenails, honestly, but it just sounded like such a satisfying idea to do. And I am trying to keep myself from like going out and doing things, like in the sense of like I'm fine with going to like, you know grocery stores and stuff, but trying really hard not to go to like the shops and stuff like that where like I like feel tempted to buy something. So it's been interesting. But then I gotta figure out how to like keep myself busy here. I will say, I feel like this nail polish doesn't smell as, like, intense as, like, other nail polishes do. Like, I feel like a lot of nail polishes smell so nasty and just so, like, overall, like, way too intense. And this one does not smell bad. Like, it, it smells okay. Like, I can tolerate the smell. So I have learned something new. I did not know that this part is actually a nail filer. And then I guess this part is just to brush off the like nail from filing. Um, I did not know that. I actually thought this was for scrubbing. Like, <laughs> so but that's okay because I actually don't have a nail filer. And sometimes I like wish I had one, especially because I like pick my nails all the time. And so, oh well, but at least now I know. And that is a good way. <laughs> sometimes you learn the hard way, right? Like I'm actually glad to now have a nail filer and it's one that like should be usable for a while. These are also by the Be Kind brand. And so I actually, I like, I love this particular store. Like it's one of the many stores downtown and downtown that I like that offers a lot of like vegan skincare stuff and like just vegan, like the vegan nail polish. I've done my toes. I'm letting them dry, but I'm actually thinking I might want to paint my nails too. Um, even if it gets ruined because, you know, cooking and cutting and all that stuff. Um, so, so far, I like the nail polish. I do feel like um, it's messy like any nail polish. But, you know, that's just normal. I am honestly thinking I'll paint my nail too. Um, but, yeah, it turns out very, like, almost like blood red which is so fun um but i will admit i am like so ready for some summery spring like outfits and stuff i so 
This is the soap that I used. Um, I like could not seem to get it to close back up, but it actually like, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be satisfying, but I do really like it. Um, Cause the only thing is like, I like that this, you can get a whole bag and like in a big bag, whereas like, um, I find it hard. Like, so like in the store where I got the nail polish, um, they do a lot of like those salt soaks and stuff. But, like, you only get, like, a small container. And I'm like, dude, I don't know if that's going to last that long. <laughs> like, is it going to last? <laughs> like, I don't know. I will say, I, like, would love a gift card there at some point. Because I do, like, getting stuff on sale there. I don't like to buy their clothes only because their clothes are, like, super expensive. But, um, I do, like to either get them on sale or like go shopping there for other people. Um, so that is fun. I think I am going to end the video here and just focus on doing my nails. I will say that regarding the, um, I give the nail polish definitely a 10 because I love that it's vegan. And I also like that, yeah, it thinks that it's $14. That probably would be, like, the only downside. So maybe a nine. Um, but I think that it's worth it. And I don't use nail polish that often anyway. So I think that, like, it'll last me. So I think that is the nice, the good part about it. I will say, like, regarding the foot soaker... Um, I'm not sure how I feel. I love that I'm using less water. So I give that, like, I love that. I'm just not sure that I, I'm, I'm still kind of trying to figure out if I would, like, I'm wondering if, like, I were to put less water in it, would I be able to use it, like, and watch a movie, like, or not that is kind of the only thing i would like to know um i do think that i will still keep it though because i think it would be great for like sitting outside and like if i wanted to you know just like stick my feet in some water satisfy that like need to like go to the pool or whatever and it's also a great travel accessory. So I think I will probably keep it for now. But I like would like to play around with like how much water to put in it and to see about the aspect of like hopefully I can actually sit and like just watch a movie or whatever. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's different, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!